Hello, in this tutorial, I'll be showing you how to create a featured product slider on Shopify. Hi everyone, I'm Jason and I'll be showing you the simplest way how to create a product slider. The first thing you will need to do, once on your Shopify admin page, you want to go over to products from the top left and menu option and you want to ensure that you have products on your Shopify store. As if you don't have any products, it doesn't make any sense in create in a featured products slider. So the first thing you're going to do to add more products, you could go into apps by selecting apps in the bottom left hand corner. And after doing that, you could download Dizer if you don't already have it. But if you already have Dizer on your Shopify admin, all you'll have to do is select Dizer. Then from here, you'll be redirected to this dashboard and you could select Find Suppliers from the left and menu option. After selecting Find Suppliers, you have a few options on Dizer. You can either choose to enter the keyword right here or you can also search for the particular product by using the URL. Or you can select any one of these categories that they have recommended right here. For example, you could tap on this particular product. After you have selected the product, it will open an AliExpress page on which you can get a better view of the product. So if you like that particular product, all you'll have to do is go onto Dizer. Then you'll tap on Add to Import List. After you have selected that, you're going to go to Import List right here. And once on your Import List, all you have to do right where you see the product that you have selected just like you can see right here just give it a few seconds once you see the product in the import list right here all you'll need to do now is tap on the pencil icon right where you see edit product and from here you can edit the name of the product so you could edit the name right there and you can also choose which variants you would like to push to your store by tapping on variants right here from the top menu option and you can also select the images that you'd like to use. After you have done that, you're going to tap on push to Shopify. Then you'll tap on save. So let me do that real quick. And you can see right there, push to Shopify. So I'm pushing it to my Shopify store right now. Once it has been added to your Shopify store, all you'll have to do is go back into products. Once in products, you are going to refresh the page. And from there, you'll see that a new product has been added to your Shopify store. As you can see right here. Now, the next thing I want you to do to add the featured slider, all you'll have to do is go down to the bottom left hand corner. Then you are going to select apps again. After selecting apps, you are going to tap on app and sales channel. And after selecting apps and sales channel, I want you to select Shopify App Store. After selecting Shopify App Store from here, in the search bar, I want you to type in. So you're going to type in right there, product slider. After selecting product slider, you'll be redirected to this page. And the product slider that we'll be using this in this example or the app that we'll be using is Foxcell Slider Cursor. So you want to download this app right here. Once you have downloaded the app, you are going to tap on Open App. And you'll be redirected to the app dashboard as you can see right here. Once on the app dashboard, what I want you to do next is you're going to go over to the left hand menu option and from there you can select sliders or you could tap on set up your slider. After you have selected set up your slider, you will see this option and from here you can see custom products slider. You're going to tap on set up slider. Then you'll tap on configure Customize and configure the slider. And after you have done that, you will be led to this page on which you'll see an example of how the slider will look. And from here, all you'll need to do now is go over to the left and menu option and you're going to see slider customization. 
and from here you will see type of slider you can tap on that and then you can see a few options you can see compact you can also see enlarging if you want want it to be enlarged but i will select compact and you can also crop the images if you want so you could select crop images you can also edit the button section as you can see right here show view details right there you can select that and if you were to use the paid plan you will have more options on how on the buttons right here but at the moment we are using the free plan you can also edit the colors if you want as you can see there and also if you scroll down you can edit the padding also if you want also if you would like to see how it looks on mobile you could tap on mobile and once you are finished and it is still your liking, you are going to tap on save changes and add to theme in the top right hand corner. Then from here you will see customize the theme you want to add the slider to. Scroll to apps in the theme and click on add plus add block and add custom product slider. So you are going to tap on go to themes. After you have selected go to themes beside the theme that you are using, you are going to tap on customize. Once on this page, you are going to go over to the left hand menu option and you are going to select add section. After selecting add section, you will scroll down and right where you see custom product sliders, you are going to tap on that. You can see right here the custom product slider has now been added. So all I'll have to do is tap right where you see custom product sliders right there. Then you are going to tap on select products. And from here, you can select the products that you would like to add. So for example, this product right here, I could simply tap on the product and you can see it right there. And I can add other products also. If I wanted to add the wedding planner, I could do that. As you can see there, I'll be able to add a second product. Right there that the products have now been added, as you can see right here, I've now created a featured product slider, as you can see here. Hope you found this video helpful and informative. If you did, be sure to hit the like button and subscribe. And thank you for watching.